Hello, beautiful people from the internet. Let's learn how to edit some good portraits. Okay, first of all, music. Okay, so if you managed to see one of the videos I uploaded, I went and took photos with this guy called Diego. He's a dancer, amazing dancer. Oh my God. Okay, so next, what, sh which photo should I edit? Ah, I think this one. Nah. Yeah, this one. I really think... Yes, black and white. Maybe? I don't know. Okay, the first thing you should always do regardless is to check for your horizon. That's like the very best thing you have to check. If your photo looks uh, rotated, it will look horrible. Trust me on that one. So you really want to check out that your lines are as vertical as possible. Yeah, that's slightly better. Okay, now. What I recommend you to do is to actually check the presets. Sometimes the presets from your, your camera can yield interesting starting points. I really like this across red monochrome. Monochrome red, yeah, I think red suits his red or yellow. I guess it depends, but I think that red fits better his tone, his skin tone. Uh, so yeah, like definitely try to have your photos to be flattering to your subject, if the objective is to make the subject look flatter, more like nice, but uh, not flatter, but oh. yeah, but you should definitely try to start from a, bay, from a point where you want to push your photo to the next level, so you, you, you which is a good point. Okay, so next. So this is a black and white photo. I'm going to work around the histogram. Okay. So this is an environmental portrait. Here you can see like the governmental buildings in the south of Montreal. See, Montreal. It's a nice place, definitely. Quite, still quite cold. At the moment of those photos, right now it's good like one two degrees it's amazing weather you see people already wearing sandals like no matter if it's like what temperature you shouldn't be wearing sandals if you're in the middle of the city please try to use sandals only on the beach or in a pool okay guys but yeah mostly of these type of videos are watched by guys i don't know i don't know if anyone is watching this bear with me okay now his face hey we only had natural light for this shooting so i'm going to focus first using the brush on his face out of this no, I want to, to to make obvious he has like a a, a copperish skin tone but yeah I don't want to make him special what yeah but I don't want to make him look like weird And usually, what you want to do is to remove sharpness to make it look uh, more 
more of a uh, iPhone filter. I don't know how do you say it. Yeah, like you. Cellphones have destroyed photography as something that to, to capture reality. Like now with your cell phone, you can just capture what the machine wants you, you to think you want. Honestly, I love wrinkles. They look amazing. But yeah, machines don't think so. Or I don't know, vanity. You should love yourself as you are. Yeah, love yourself as you are, definitely. That's a great step towards uh, getting excellent photos. You have to understand what's going on. Okay, this is enough. Am I making sense? I hope so. Okay, so besides that general, that specific uh, adjustment, I'm gonna make a general adjustment just to make it like slightly more flattering. Okay, now let's work around the snow. Yeah, this snow, oh my god, I remember it being gross. That's the thing about snow. You know, snow should only be legal in small towns. Large cities turn to be gross, like go grosser with snow. So in order to get like a, to be super aggressive with your brush here, you have to be sure to have your auto mask here enabled. With that, you can just be super aggressive and don't care much. It will select very like only the similar things that are like to what you're covering. Now, actually turn on those. No way. Like the prison, princess. Let's make this sky a little bit dark, darker. I mean, because why not? Yeah. I always like showing when I'm drawing a mask on. It's like. Thank you. To follow, just need to the smart mask. Otherwise, you will have a harder time doing okay. yeah, this. This is called Dutch and Burning. I don't want to do it perfect because, well, it looks faker. You know, like. Oh, gross. Okay, we need a lot of this. Oh, no. Control Z, Command Z, whatever you feel like doing. And yeah, like try to make it as if it was clouds. I mean, depending on what you want to do. Now, for here, I'm going to make it super dark on the top. Yeah. Yeah, I think that that's good enough. That's good enough. Yeah, I'm happy with the results so far. You will be happy with your results when you edit a lot of photos. Come on, let's go. Maybe I should write a script for this, but then again, I don't have a teleprompter. So. Okay, let's let's see the photos. Okay, this is really cool. I was going for some Beatles crossing the Abbey Road vibe. Obviously, I'm missing 
I'm missing four mates here, four boys. But I think that, yeah, we can reframe this a little bit. Again, we start by our horizon. Try to make it, I don't know. Yeah, this looks okay. So he looks towering, and that's important to, to, to get a, a, a good feel. Now we were working with the across R, but here you can see that it, the, his face is not amazingly exposed. So I'm going to try to do this, and again try to make a local correction, make it small. Yeah, one third of his top is enough for his face. I feel that I need another thing for his jacket, you know? Only this part of his jacket. Yeah, I wanna have like a, a nice gradient in the jacket to make it more interesting, you know? Like there's light on the left side of the photo or right side, I don't know. To this side when I'm moving, you, you can see my mouse. And then I want to add another line here. Under Not that much, that was too aggressive. Yeah, I have to stop. Yeah, it looks interesting already. And I think I'm going to go even more compact. You can see that I'm placing my subject here on, the, on one of the axes of the rule of thirds. Why? Well, because it's very pleasing to human eye. There's not a real consequence. I would love to have no people here, but if I edited them out, I feel like Honestly, I'm too lazy for doing that. And I don't think it's needed. I mean, yeah, I don't think it's needed. We can just roll around it. Yeah, it looks great, I think. I think um, yeah, and try to make the faces flatter, like for more flattering, you know, like not dreamlike, looks horrible. Look at this, like, looks like, like Xiaomi filter gone wrong. So we're gonna work around this. Yeah, yeah, I want a little bit of like a ray of light in his face. That's what I wanted. I guess I got it. A little bit. Yeah. Am I happy? Am I happy? I don't know if I'm happy. I mean, the edit is okay. It's interesting enough. Let's try reframing again. Okay, let's try to reframe again. How do you rotate it? Yes, with X. You press X to re-rotate, to rotate 90 degrees your crop. And now, instead of using the lines as holes, I'm going to use them as frames. Yeah, this one looks better because all the tiny people are on his back. It's like walking away from tiny people. Looking at the future. Yeah. yeah, I think it looks better. Overall. Let's check for our ray aspect ratio. Yeah. 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 I'm going to be printing this photo. Did you know if I think it's in a guide to print photos? Or 
Are you watching this video? Am I talking to the boy? I don't care. I don't care if I'm talking to the boy. I need to edit these photos and I'm going insane. So I might as well do insane things and edit the photos and... Yeah, I speak a lot when I'm editing the photos. So yeah, it's not important. Okay, oh my god, why... Oh, this is a good photo today. I must say, I'm a good photographer. Well, I, I think so. I'm not amazing. Not amazing, but, but good enough. Yeah. Okay, let's rotate. Okay, try to not chop his feet. Okay. I already decided to do with across. Massage this. Yeah, massage. You want your histogram to be really well distributed. You know? Like, not me. I was going to use statistics to explain. I don't like this. I like this song, but I don't like it for the setup. Yeah. Yeah, more chill. Okay, let's lower this texture, clarity. Yeah, look at your history model. Yeah, well, I'm going to do... Yeah, the, the thing about this this uh, profiles of cameras that you lose your, your some abilities so might as well try working now oh oh so interesting I wasn't expecting this okay. yeah. what's this parametric cure Why? No! Stop it! Stop it. Yeah, that's about right. Uh, and I want to preserve this. It's on the red side, on the red channel, obviously, but... I don't recall those stones being especially red. I'm going to need to use a brush to compensate a little bit. Use the compass. Face and lower the exposure. No lower. One tenth. So, uh, I don't know. Okay, so what we've learned today is that you have to make your subjects look good or horrible, depending what type of photo you're making. But also, if you're making, trying to make, yeah, I'm gonna make a video about making someone look awful. Yeah, someone very good looking, I'm going to make them look awful. Okay, but if you're trying to make someone look amazing, well, first of all, make them look up straight, then be, make sure to have a proper exposition on their face. Yeah, their face needs to be properly. 
the skin tone should be homogeneous, you know? Like, if you're working with natural light, try to keep it nice. And thanks for watching this video. Honestly, I don't know why you're still here, but you're amazing. You're amazing. See you in the next one.